All right, you guys, our first skill today, our first thing that we're gonna be doing is our bridge, our bridge kick over. Uh, I know I mentioned this a little bit in the intro. We want to make sure that we are safe while we're doing this. That is the number one concern here. So please, if you're not ready for the bridge kick over, you do not have to try it, totally okay. So again, for our bridge, just to go over real quick what we did last week, uh, we had a few variations. We had the tabletop, where we just put our hands behind us and push our hips up off the floor. We had our regular bridge, our bridge with feet together, legs straight, and our bridge with one leg in the air. Those are all great to practice, and you may even wanna practice those a little bit before you try the kickover. But I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate what the kickover should look like for you guys. It's not my strongest skill, so please bear with me. Uh, I'll demonstrate one inside and outside and give you a couple variations for it. Alrighty, you guys, here's our first variation for our bridge kickover. So this one's a little easier. We're gonna be working on it with an elevated surface. So we'll have our feet on the elevated surface and our hands on the floor, and we'll kick over from there. I'm gonna show you guys using my sofa. Hopefully this goes well. Uh, and then I'll show you one outside as well, doing it on the ground with no elevated surface. So these are really the two best ways to go about doing this at home. Here's the first one. Again, we're gonna lay down on our back. Put your feet on the elevated surface, okay? Make sure you have strong hands on the floor, get to a good strong bridge position, then lift with one leg, and I like to do leg lifts into mine to make it a little easier, give myself momentum, and then jump, kick over, and finish right in your lunge, just like that, okay? Uh, for parents, uh, if you are wanting to spot, if your child wants to try it and they need a spot, uh, the best way to go about that is to sit behind them, or to the side of them, rather, when they're doing their bridge, and you can spot the leg that they lift, and one hand at the back. You can also spot the leg that they jump from, with one hand on the back. You can also stand up, and hold underneath their back at their hips, to help give them a little boost if they need one to get over. I'm gonna show you guys one outside now, so you can see what it would look like doing it on the ground. Just like that. All right, you guys, so those were our bridge kickovers. Uh, again, remember, please warm up your bridge before you try and do the kickover. If you're gonna try the kickover, we wanna make sure we're warmed up before we try anything more difficult, more challenging. Um, also, again, if you can't do it, totally okay. Just keep working on your bridge and you'll get there, okay? Uh, for our application today, uh, you're gonna be seeing Coach Juan doing his uh, round off back handspring double-double. So we would call it a double-double when there are two flips, and two twists, okay? So the bridge kick over is, you know, it leads into back walkovers and back handsprings, which again are used heavily in tumbling. So we're gonna show you guys a really powerful, awesome looking skill from Coach One. 